Want to squat up? With me and my boy over here? Corgi? Yeah, okay. All right, cool, cool. We got to find a we got to find a village, bro. Where'd you come from? What direction? Um that way. Are you the guy that I got into a fight with earlier? You you sure you're not the guy that ran away from us? Yeah. Cuz it he came he went to that direction, bro. Yo, yo, what is up, guys? DJ Ammunition here. Ammunition Gaming, a.k.a. Poppy Chulo. What is up, guys? We are back with some more DayZ. Now, I wanted to start a quick series for y'all. Let me know down in the comments if y'all like the series. Um, it's basically going to be a how-to. So, I know very little about this game, but I know enough to kind of get by. I know there's not a lot of information circulating on the internet. I'm sure there's other YouTubers that have done stuff like this, but I want to do this for y'all, the homies. Today's video is actually going to be how to do your inventory. So, how to go through your menu, uh, menu management. Uh, that's not the button. So, you hit select, and then, you know, bam, we're in the inventory. So, we're going to go over a couple things. Uh, also, really quick before we get into the video, make sure y'all hit that like, that subscribe, that, that, that bell, you know, ring my bell. I'm a horrible singer, but y'all will love to, uh, enjoy that, uh, or enjoy to love it. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm lost, bro. I'm, I'm not, I'm not good at doing how to's because I normally just how to die. That's what I do. But okay, so we're going to go to the inventory. Okay, I'm going to do my best to go over everything with you. If I miss anything, if there's something that y'all want to add, put it down in the comments. We'll make sure that we add it in you know, the beginning of the next video. Uh, uh, I plan to do how to survive, how to eat food and use water, uh, how to set up shop, like you know, how to set up kind of like a camp, even though we can't really build in this game. Got a lot of them, but if there's a specific how-to y'all want to see from your boy, put it down in the comments and let me know. All right, so... Looking on the left side, we have vicinity, okay? So that's going to be whatever's on the ground, whatever's like on a box or anything around you. So that actually is going to be that area that's highlighted right there, okay? Then we have your equipment, okay? And then you have your, like, if you have a backpack, a hat, you got all your clothes up here. We'll go over a little bit more in detail with them. But it's really important to know how to navigate. So if you hit LB and RB, this is actually how you switch over to, you know, vicinity, then we got whatever's in your hand, which I have a case. And on the right side, it is equipment. So there's going to be whatever you have on you. Uh, again, like on your storage unit, like backpacks and stuff. So LT and RT are also extremely important because this is how you actually switch over in between, you know, your actual equipment that you have equipped on you, your backpack. Uh, if you have something hidden in your hat, uh, your pants, you know, your pockets. Uh, and then you have your, I have a paramedic jacket on. And at the very bottom, this is going to be all the attachments that I have for my rifle, my Mosin. So, very, very important. Now, if I go up here to the Mosin, you're going to actually see on the very bottom, there's a couple things that you can do. You can hold Y to drop it. You can hold A to micromanage. We'll go over that because that's also very, very key uh, in, in kind of sorting out whatever you have in your menu. You can hit swap. If you hit swap, that's actually going to put it in your hand. But unfortunately, because I don't have room on me to put this protector case it's not going to swap so normally if i wanted to do that i would just drop the case and then you just hit a and boom it's in your hands so now you have it to where you can be able to you know use it if you need to uh also okay so let's go into this really quick because I, I don't know if this is gonna be a separate video so we'll just do it like this if you have something in your hand and you need to aim hold lt and then rt of course is gonna be triggered but see i ain't got no i ain't got no ammo i haven't found any ammo for the, the mawson yet so just so you know, that that's just a quick tidbit. So let's go back to protector case. Okay, so see, now I have the protector case on vicinity. And, and this is what's actually in the case. I put some, some rounds in there. So if you go up here and you hit Y, boom, it should go to your inventory. But it doesn't because we don't have any more room. Uh, so then what we'll go ahead and do is we'll hit RB to go back to the motion. We'll go here to uh, actually put it back. I think it's X. Yeah, that's X. So it actually puts it back on my back. And then we go right here, and then you hit A on the protector case, and now I'll be holding it in my hands. I can drop stuff like, uh, you know, my pots. What's cool about the pots is you actually have stuff that goes in the pots. Let me drop this on the ground, and I'll show y'all. I have a rope, and I have two boxes of rounds in there. Same thing with the other pot. Uh, let's see, what do I have in that one? See, that one has some rounds. That one has an extra mag, and also has a bottle of water. So those are things that I really need on me. Um, so let's go into, uh, basically the, the gear that you wear in storage slots. So it's, it's a little tough, but once you get the hang of it, it it's, it's easy. 
uh, but it's a little tough at the beginning, okay? So right now we're in the equipment screen up here. You see where I'm highlighting my rifle, and then if we had a bow, and then we had a stick, and then, you know, like an extra vest, and then that's my jacket. So let's start on the paramedic jacket. So if we go down to the bottom right here, I have, uh, see it says paramedic jacket, and then also right it says 4 out of 12. That basically means I have up to 12 slots that I can use of the jacket, but keep in mind the jacket has pockets, and so sometimes even though if I only have 4 here, and I find like another four, which are total to an eight, which is below 12. If I don't have enough pockets, it still won't hold it. So it's kind of a guessing game with it. But if I needed to, I can put stuff in this jacket as long as it adds up to 12. Again, considering that it has the amount of slots that's needed. Uh, so it's, it's really hard to uh, kind of get a hang of it in the beginning. But I'm going to show you all how to actually move stuff in between like your pants, your jacket, your backpack. What we're going to do is we're going to go over to this yellow protector case. And it's in the, the my backpack. I'm going to try to actually put it into the pants. Eh? <laughs> Whoa, no pause. So you hold A down. Okay. And then since RT and LT are what you use to switch in between your containers, I'm just going to switch RT twice. And that actually takes me down to the pants. I let go of A and boom, it's right there. Very, very important to know how to do that because it's actually how uh, you're basically going to want to be able to just to move stuff around uh, to make sure you're managing it correctly. There is a zombie outside, so we're going to need to hurry. So let's go ahead and go into, uh, how do we do the pot? There we go. Okay, so we're, right now this is selecting the items inside the pot. We want to make sure that you're actually, there we go. Okay, very top. So see, this is what's in the pot in the bottom. And if you go to the very top, that's actually going to be uh, what's on the ground. So you're going to select it hole right there and we're gonna see if we can put that in the backpack also that actually fits in the pants so we're gonna pick that up too uh, we need the transceiver we need those bandages we need the lock pick for the most part it sorts it the way you're supposed to have it um, sometimes it doesn't also let me show you how to do this too so right there you saw how I picked up the hatchet so it automatically goes right here, if you have too many things, it will actually give you the option to put it in your hands if you don't already have something in your hands, okay? So, if you go up to it, you just hit X, that'll basically work, boom, it's in your inventory, you're good to go. And then if you want to put it in your hands because you need to use it, you just go ahead and select it and hit A, you're good to go. It's very important to also see your description. So right now we're highlighting the uh, transceiver. When it is ruined, it's pretty much gone. There's no way you can repair it. Some things like clothing, um, weapons, there's there's some things that you can actually repair. But it's really important. Once they update, hopefully, this font that's on the actual items, it'll be a lot easier to read. I don't know if you're going to be able to read it on there. Uh, but it does say warn. Uh, other things like foods and plants and stuff that you can hold on to, they'll also say stuff like raw. That's also very mindful to keep, uh, you know, in the event that you need to eat it, you know, you don't want to get sick. And we'll go over the uh, bottom screen display in a second. Um, but yeah, the item description is extremely important. It also tells you the weight, which will affect your speed as you run. So like if I were to drop my backpack and drop everything, I'm going to be able to run a lot faster. Stamina's going to be a lot better. Um, and we'll go over the bottom di uh, display too. So yeah, just keep that in mind with the whole weight thing. It, it's very important. And then again, that also takes into account as if you can even hold it because you don't have enough pockets and it, it whatever you put it in, it's not going to fit. Combining items. I don't really have any idea I can combine, but I'll give you an example. So in the event that, let's say I had my moss in right here, it's sitting in my hands. And let's say I had the rounds. I think it takes 762 rounds on this. Let's see. RB or LB. Go over to it. Um... It does not say. I believe it takes 762 rounds. So the event that I had 762 rounds, let's say if they were sitting here in my boonie hat, okay? There's going to be an option where I can uh, hold uh, B. It'll, it'll say combine whenever I highlight the bullets. You hold B, it'll actually combine it to the weapon. So in the event that you needed to create a bow and arrow, uh, and just the bow, you have the stick and you have the rope, you would highlight one of them, put one in your hand, and you can combine. There's also a way that you can do it straight from the equipment. Uh, basically, you just go up here and you highlight it, and then you would also be able to hold combine, and it'll it'll do it. But it's it's easier if you're doing it in your hand. Um, let me pick this up. Let me put this back. Hold on. Go back. Equip that. Go back. There we go. That'll do it for us automatically. All right. Um... Also, to drop on, as we talked about, you hold Y. To split multiple items. I don't want to do it because it's a real big pain in the ass. Uh, but you can take rounds and you can split them if you need to. So if in the event if I had rounds right here in the boonie hat, 
uh, basically I would just hit, it'll give me the option to split. You just hit X and it'll actually break them up for you. Sometimes it breaks it in half. Sometimes it breaks it in ones. I guess it just depends on how many you have. Uh, and then you can either leave them around. You can give them out to homies, um, or, you know, basically just put them back together. So you can put them in your case and carry them all at once. So, uh, that's X. We hold Y. We got, uh, items in your hands to a from the menu. Uh, now quick slot, quick slot is extremely important. Uh, so let's say, Right here on the bottom uh, right, you see hold L. So hold L3, basically. You hold L, and now I have a pinwheel menu. Right now, I have my bottle there. So if I wanted to put my hatchet to where I can activate it, and this is still while you're holding down the left trigger, you just hit A, and boom, now it's attached. So now, if we're right here outside of the menu, and I need it, you can either hit Y, and it'll actually, if you look on the bottom left, you'll be able to see what you have. If you hold Y, it'll actually switch in between the bottle and switch in between the hatchet. I'm in a little area right now, so you really can't see the character, but if you look on the left, it actually tells you what item you have out. So we're gonna put the hatchet back out. Uh, if you don't wanna do it that way, if you have too many things in your pinwheel and you wanna select something specifically, all you have to do is hit right on the D-pad, and then boom, you got the pinwheel just holding right on the D-pad will allow you to select it. Use the uh, right joystick, and then once you have what you wanna select, let's put the bottle since we have the hatchet out, you just hit A, let go of the right D-pad, and I still and now I have a model in my hand. Boom. Boom. All right. Real uh, good on the fly when you're running around, you run to a zombie, you run to somebody else you have to throw it down with, uh, or if you realize that you really need some food and water. Um, I'm going to go more into depth about this, but I want to give definitely since my first video on how to, I want to go over just really quickly what the bottom display means. So... On the bottom left, you have a little running man, okay? That is your stamina meter. Notice how my stamina meter is not all the way full, okay? It's like halfway full. It'll actually replenish a little bit more as you make sure that you have enough food and water in your system. But also, again, going back into the menu, because we're carrying so much stuff, the stamina goes down quite a bit. Uh, if I were to drop everything and see that the stamina is going to just be a full gauge. Now, stamina is definitely going to help you when you're cutting stuff down, uh, when you're just basically fighting, and then also when you're sprinting. So, very quick tip in the very beginning of the game when you first start, try not to sprint everywhere. It is fun as hell and it helps you get somewhere fast because this, this map is fucking huge. Um, but you definitely want to just kind of hold off, reserve that sprinting until you're able to find some food and water. That's the first thing you want to do is find food. Water is a little bit easier to find, um, but yeah, basically, you want to make sure that you don't sprint just everywhere. There's a zombie still out here, bro. Where's he at? Is he out here somewhere? We'll throw it down with him in a second. So on the right side of the bottom display, you have uh, you have the check mark. I'm sorry, not check mark. The cross, which is the health. You have the droplet, which is blood, uh, and then you have that little amoeba-looking thing. That is bacteria. That's infection. That's disease. Uh, then you have the thermometer. That's your temperature. And then, as you can see, that we have arrows on each one of the next ones. We have the food, and then we have water. Okay, so health. Health is extremely important. Once you start seeing that thing flash yellow, that is a warning. Any of these flash yellow, it is a warning. If you see it red, you want to make sure you get immediate attention. So that's going to be either if you get cut, if you break something, you want to make sure you splint it. We'll put a bandit on. Uh, you want to make sure that you have a blood kit if you have one, if you need it, if you're losing a lot of blood, and that would be the next one. Those chevrons that are at the bottom of food and water, they actually will appear periodically in between all those symbols. Okay, If it's just one chevron, it's cool. It's decreasing a little bit. It's kind of normal. I need to eventually eat. need to eventually drink water. If you see two, that's something that you're losing a little bit more. You're almost about to be screwed. If you see three, you might as well just start, you know, unless you can fully kit yourself, you can make sure you eat. It's you got to make sure you get the attention that you need because the three means that you're losing it quite big. Um, that blood, if you see three, that you're losing a lot of blood, you need a blood kit. So those are things to keep in mind. Now, from what I understand is that the PC is way more detailed uh, PC version and Xbox. I don't think bacteria necessarily affect you as much. I don't think the blood affects you as much, but I could be wrong. They just updated it. So uh, definitely something you want to keep an eye out. So that's that's going to be the bottom display. Also, like I mentioned, if you want to see other videos, I'm, I'm going to do my best to do better in the how to's. Oh, look, hold up. We got a. What was that? What was that noise? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I want this. There we go. I'd rather take the axe. Axe is better. Um, I'm going to be doing some more videos on how to's. I'm going to do how to select the server, uh, how to survive, you know, basically food and water. Here's some water. So let's show, you, let's show you what the water does. Okay. So see how I was running right there? See the water double chevron down? That means it's, it's you know, I'm, I'm using all this energy. I'm, I'm sweating. 
now it's really going down. So the more the longer you do it, the you know the harder you're gonna be pushing yourself. So we go up to the water fountain. You just hit X. You want to make sure that you're aimed at it because this little this little dot in the middle that that basically tells you what you're aiming at. So you want to make sure that you're aimed at it. Otherwise, you won't be able to drink. Also, keep 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 an eye around, man, because these people sometimes, bro, they pull a Negan. They pull up on you, try to kill you, take your shit. I've already killed a few people. I ain't gonna lie. Thank y'all for you know sticking around to the end of the video. This is my very first how-to on Daisy, how to manage your inventory. Uh, hopefully, it's helpful. Again, if y'all know any extra tips, make sure y'all let me know. Uh, put it down in the comments. If you want to see any other how-tos, I'm definitely down to do it. Again, my first time, so uh, I probably fucked up a lot. I ain't gonna lie, bitch. But uh, I'll see y'all later. Peace. Motherfucker. You got anything on you, bitch? The team goes <laughs>